Hello people, today we are going to do something different. We are going to make an auto clicker for RuneScape or any other game you want. Um, I'm not encouraging you to uh, use bots or something. I just want to show you how to make a auto clicker for anything you just want. So uh, what we are going to be making is uh, this. Just wait it to uh, build. So just a simple auto clicker. You press start and it just clicks every second. So the test button is just to test if it clicks or not. So as you can see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And if I press stop, nothing happens. I can click manually, but that's it. So we're going to stop debugging. And first of all, I'm going to show you how to get this program. So it's called a compiler. You need it uh, to program, so we are going to make this auto clicker in Visual Basic 2010 Express, as you can see here. So uh, what you do is you go to Google, you type in Visual Basic 2010, and then you just go to uh, the website you like. So first link will do, I think. And then what you do is um, try Visual Studio 2010 now. Although it says try, it's completely free. The ultimate is um, not free premium, isn't either professional and such. Uh, we are looking for Express. Um, hmm. Oh, here it is. So you go to products, Visual Basic Express. Click on that. And then you can just uh, install now. It's going to download the installer, just run it. I recommend installing the uh, Microsoft Power Pack and the SQL Server Pack, which comes into it uh, just in case you might need it. You don't need it for the auto clicker, but it's highly recommended to uh, to use it. So uh, back to Visual Basic, um, you just start a new project and you name it Auto Clicker. Press OK. And you get this basic form so um, I'm going to show you how to do it I'm not going to give an in-depth description of what you're actually doing um, I may make another series about visual basic and the basics of visual basic um, but for now it's just the auto clicker so um, this is the property window this is the form window and this is the solution explorer. So what we are going to do is we just click the form and then we go to properties and set the text to whatever you like. So I'm going to name it auto clicker by tune breaker. So just resize it a little bit. And then we go to the toolbox, which is here and we are going to add three buttons and also a label just set the label to zero okay and by label I mean the text of the label um, you also might want to change the name to um, I don't know counter or something counter and button one is going to be our start button so uh, name it btn start you don't need to actually name it btn start but I just uh, 
do that to make coding a little easier. Um, when we start coding, you might want to change the BTN start. So if I put BTN start in the code, you might want to change it to the name that you chose. But it's all right. The text is going to be start. Then this one is text is going to be stop. This is going to be our stop button. BTN stop. And this is going to be BTN tests with text of test. So that's all set. Also, you're going to need a timer. So we go to the toolbox and take timer. And drag it into the form. <laughs> so the timer is going to be here. It's not going to be anywhere in the form. So we can resize that so then we click the timer and we change the name to click um, in the timer you see interval that is uh, when the timer is going to tick and when the timer ticks it's going to click so if you want to um, make it so the the, the program clicks once every one second you just change that to a thousand if you want it to click every two seconds you just change that to a two um, I'm going to make a more advanced tutorial soon on how to change the interval while using the pro the program so but for now we just use the I don't know, thousand or something. Now <clears throat> we're going to be coding. So what you do first is you click, you double click the start button and you get this little thingy and then you just um, type time, oh shit, I'm sorry. Click, so you see here, click dot start and just click away so it's going to do this but don't mind that you can close it or leave it open and just go back to form one double click stop click stop So in the coding, we have public class form one, just take an enter. So you have some space here. And when you have some space there, just put this code. This code will be in the description too. The code is private. Sorry. Private declare up mouse underscore event lib or lib then this user 32 by val flags as long come up by val dx as long come up by val dy as long come up by val c buttons as long come up by val dw extra info as long close brackets 
So uh, just see if I didn't forget anything. Uh, private declare. Okay, take an enter. Oh shit. Oh, sorry. Declare. Hmm. What have I done wrong? Oh, sorry. So, this code needs to be... Oh shit, I'm ballsing it up. It needs to be about there, so public class needs to remain the upper piece. Okay, now it's fine, I, I guess. Then take an enter and type private constant or const mouse click up is four and then private constant mouse click down is two. So now that's done, we need to uh, start the tester. So let me explain this first. Every time you click the test button, it's going to do this label plus one. But this zero that you see here is called a string in programmer's language. So a string is um, basically like a word or something for the computer but to actually um, take this plus one it needs to be an integer so we're going to declare an integer which is also a value which can't be um, a decimal which is a decimal so um, you, you'll probably see what I mean in a minute. You do D I M, so dim, and then you uh, just give it the name. I'm gonna give it the name test as integer. Okay, so that's all set. Then we are going to go here and double click the test thingy and then we type clicks sorry um test is test plus one so all that means is when you click the button it's going to take test and make it equal to what test is now plus one. So if it's zero, it's going to be one. If it's two, it's going to be three. If it's, I don't know, thousands, it's going to be a thousand and one. So then we just change the label. So I don't know how I call the label counter. So we just say counter dot text so the text of counter is equal to the value of test which is this part so now the the tester is set up we're going to debug it so just click the little triangle here and click test it's working fine so now you wonder what's up with the timer part so just double click the timer and now the so here you can see uh, whenever the 
timer ticks it's going to do what's inside here so we're going to make the computer click down and then click up again so to do that we just type mouse underscore event open brackets mouse click down comma zero comma zero comma zero comma zero close brackets four zeros four parameters mouse underscore events mouse click up comma zero comma zero space zero comma space zero comma space zero close brackets so now it should work let's debug it start and I get an error so if you are using Visual Basic 2008 it should work but if you're using 2010 like I do you need to do something more so just click auto clicker or whatever your project name is in the solution explorer and click properties so once you've done that you just go to compile go all the way down advanced compile setting settings and here you see target target framework between brackets all configurations so you see it's .NET Framework 4 Client Profile. To work, it needs to be 3.5. It also works in 3, but you get a lot of uh, error messages. So just take 3.5, click OK, OK. And now just wait a little. Oh, wait. Oh my god, errors all the way. So just save it first by clicking this. It's called save all. Compile framework 3.5. Okay, yes. And then it's just going to do all that. You can see now everything is gone. You can't do anything now just to get it back to what it originally was. Go to the Solution Explorer, click Form 1, Form 1, double click it, and here you go. You got your little window again, debug it, start, and there you go, one auto clicker. If you press stop now, stop clicking. Wonderful. So this was a little tutorial about an, an auto clicker. I'm going to show you an auto typer soon and then I'm going to make advanced tutorials about how to change the time of the timer here in the program and I don't know maybe I'll make a series about visual basics the basics and how I learned visual basic so uh, thank you for watching I'll see you again next